I saw me one right now, I put it on Give them a show right now, see them a blood When me bring the all side out, just a fall And we are there, come over This is Cash Trees, young man, the whole world You fuck young man, the whole world You see them young man, the whole world Superb young man, the whole world We said that name, young man, the whole world Smash self, young man, the whole world And stop rap, young man, the whole world you watching MBC. Good night, St. Lucia, and welcome to the resumption of Police Insight. As you know, we took a break before the general election, um, and it has come and it has gone. I'd like to say good night to our police commissioner, Mr. Milton Daisy, our deputies, assistant commissioners of police, all our Gazette officers, our inspectors, sergeants, corporals, constables, both senior and junior, special police constables, special reserve police officers, city police, ex-police officers, thank you for your service. Good night to you all. Our brothers and sisters in law enforcement, St. Lucia Fire Service Department, Bodley Correctional Facility, Port Police, I'd like to say good night to you. Customs, I'd like to say good night to you. Let me just put, it seems I'm already out of practice for, got, for getting to, there we go. Put that device on silence. So, a lot has happened. Election have come and gone, general election, the St. Lucia Labour Party, as we all know, has formed a new administration in power in governing this country. And just, on, just like the, the last show before we took a break where I wish all candidates well, political candidates, I'd like to congratulate all those who won their seats. And all I could say is that I wish you all the best. Hope that you all exercise good judgment and wisdom in serving the people of St. Lucia. It's now time for us to move forward as a nation, as a people. I'd like to say a special good night to Dr. Virginia Poyet, the Minister in Charge of Home Affairs. Eventually, probably after a couple of months where I know that you have gotten into the groove of things, I shall extend an invitation to you to appear on Police Insight so we, the police officers and law enforcers, could hear your plans and vision for us, a very important component in St. Lucian life. Um, so, you know, we're live on... NBC television. It's very good to be back. Um, we're also streaming live on NBC television St. Lucia on Facebook. So I know hopefully I will, I will check on, this, on the stream to see if the usual um, viewers, our NBC viewers are back online with us. Um, I have a very important guest tonight. It's very important and we're going to be discussing robberies. So this crime 
this menace called a robbery has definitely been a scourge on the St. Lucian public, especially in the city of Castries. So my guest, when I formally introduce him, we will be having that discussion in hopes of educating you. The organization is doing lots of things, trying their best to fight the proponents of robbery, those who commit that offense. And one of the strategies is also through education, through education, using this medium to reach out to you and educate you on that offense and how you could lessen your chances of being a victim of that offense. Um, we've had some arising cases, you know, and the Ministry of Health notes that at present, the number of active COVID-19 cases in St. Lucia is very high and concerning. Um, the Ministry of Health continues to advise everyone to continue adhering to the protocols and adopt behaviors which will help to reduce the spread of the virus. It is important that persons with respiratory signs and symptoms avoid crowds and contact with others. If you are experiencing respiratory signs and symptoms, please visit any of the five respiratory clinics to access testing. The five respiratory clinics are the Viewfort Wellness Center, Soufre Hospital, Denry Hospital, Lacquery Wellness Center, and the Grosse Polyclinic. Let us continue practicing the infection prevention and control measures to protect ourselves and others from the COVID-19 virus. So we continue to tell you, wash your hands frequently using soap and flowing water, wear a mask in public places and ensure it covers the mouth, chin and nose, maintain a physical distance from others, and use a bleach solution to sanitize frequently touched surfaces and frequently handled objects. So people, this is, this is not going away. It's not going anywhere. And though it appears that the protocols, the adherence of the protocols has almost completely lapsed, you know, just Sunday, I believe it was, I decided to take a drive down to Pigeon Point, and I did not even stop. I was about in the evening. I just passed slowly, put down my window, and put it straight back up and continued driving because you literally could not even really get a, a place, a piece of sand to stand on where you would not be immediately close to someone else. And literally, if anyone was wearing a mask at all, so it's like we're taking it for a joke. And then we see what's happening in some islands where some, um, well, look at what happened in St. Vincent, you know, and other places where people are protesting, where, where it appears that the government, some of those governments are trying to um, put out mandatory laws of vaccination. vaccination. I, don't, I personally don't agree with that. I believe everyone should have a choice. And we heard from uh, the current Minister of Health, uh, Mr. Um, um, Jabati is stating that um, definitely the SLP administration, the government, is not going to consider that. And I think everyone is okay with that. But what we should be using or doing a lot is adherence to the protocols. Okay? We need to be each other's keeper. All right. So without further ado, I will eventually get to our Facebook page, but let me now introduce my esteemed guest. He's no stranger to Police Inside, he's no stranger to social media, he's no stranger to controversy, right? <laughs> nah, there's no controversy with this officer. I'm just kidding, no controversy at all. I just felt like putting that in there to break the ice. But welcome once again to Police Inside, um, Inspector Acting. <laughs> <laughs> Acting Inspector Shervin Matthew. Good night to you, Inspector. How are you doing? Good night, sir. How's everything? Uh, I'm here trying. How's the election? 
<laughs> Don't answer that. But I, I was worked for the election. Where did you work? Um, Where I were you work, posted? I worked across um, the um, Harbour Club. Harbour Club? Yeah, in the tent. It was yeah, it was a really hot day. A really hot day under the tent? Yeah, it started to rain. And, yeah. yeah. But I guess the the crowd of persons who came there were like well-mannered oh, yes. individuals. We had no issues. So everybody came and did the the, the stuff. I believe it was a crowd of persons over the age of 25. <laughs> uh, the majority, yeah. Yeah, and, and, and I'm happy to hear you say, Inspector, no issues because unlike the, 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 the prophets of doom and gloom, and that's what I call them, the prophets of doom and gloom, where, where always before the election you would hear people state that this election is going to be very dangerous or violent or there's going to be some some type of protest. St. Lucian's continue to show those prophets of doom and gloom that this is not the type of people we are, that when we go and vote, we know who we're going to vote for, we know what we're going uh -huh. to do, we do what we have to do, and then we go out our homes, we wait for the night, we celebrate, we cry, depending on what side of the fence you are, and then we move on. Isn't that the case? Yeah. station mm -hmm. um the officers at the grossly um cid um where i'm attached to um good evening to all police officers persons watching online um on facebook um good evening to the persons in Sufre from my hometown you know i always have to make up my hometown by all means yeah so yeah, good evening to all persons there um all gazetted officers all officers watching it's a pleasant evening to you excellent yeah. so let's get to the meat of the matter yeah. robbery <laughs> Robbery, robbery, my goodness, robbery. First of all, um, Inspector, for those who don't know, according to our laws, mm. what, what, what is robbery? Because, you know, sometimes our citizens have their own definition of what robbery. they believe a robbery could be. But yeah. what is robbery? All right, let me bring it to you. Um, you know, the criminal code, you know, I'm going to break it down into a layman's term that Excellent. other persons could understand. Well, in the criminal code, under section 2, a robbery is described as um, when a person comes... Um, Commits, um, steals anything from anybody immediately before or go and say, um, that person uses, uses force, uses force on that person or puts that person in fear, mm -hmm. all right? Or in layman's term, basically stealing something from somebody using force. It could be a knife, it could be a, a firearm, as we've seen in more recent times, mm -hmm. all right? It could be a cutlass, it could be a screwdriver, it could be anything, it could be just words. Um, so long as you put the person in fear. Once you put the person in fear, it's robbery. Yeah, and you steal anything from them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you commit in the 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 offense of robbery. So what if what if what if a citizen is surrounded by a, a, a gang of guys? Mm -hmm. um, they have not shown any weapons or anything, but you know, just intimidating a yeah. person and one steals somebody would that be considered robbery? Well, if you if based on the interview. Um, if you determine that you are actually in fear of your life, or you're actually okay. in fear that you would have been beaten up or something, mm -hmm. it amounts to robbery. Okay. Yeah, it could also amount to a, a plane stealing, depending on how mm -hmm. the investigation goes. Mm -hmm. understand? Because the plane um, stealing from person um, is basically just snatching the person's bag mm -hmm. or something and running away with it. Okay, excellent. Um, what, what does the um, criminal code speak to the, in terms of the um, penalty? Um, the penalty um, for robbery, someone could get um, up to 20 years in prison on indictment um, for robbery. Um, but you know how the system is right now. Sometimes you'll be charged for robbery and you'd spend some time on remand mm -hmm. or you spend some time on bail. Sometimes that, that matter is called like five years later. Um, if you're found guilty, they will take into consideration the time you were, you know, you were out on bail or the time you were spent on remand. And by that time, you know, the, it would have gone down. Mm -hmm. Also, you would also get a one for discount if you put in an early guilty plea. So all these things come in, in, into consideration. <laughs> so most times, persons do not really get the, the 20 years. Sometimes most times they don't. I've seen persons gotten 8 years in prison for, for robbery. You understand? You know, later yeah. on I'll be asking you if you think that that, that probably <laughs> contributes. But that's, 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 that's later on during the show. Yeah. Um, okay, so you're here, Inspector. So I'd like mm -hmm. to assume that 
but I'll still ask you. Is robbery a serious crime? Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. And is a serious problem, not a crime, serious crime. Is, there a problem? Robbie, is it Robbie, something you should be concerned about? I believe all, all the citizens right now should be concerned um, about robbery because you've seen it. It's there on social media. Gone are the days when we used to just hear that, hey, a star got robbed in Sufre. But nowadays, it's, there are surveillance cameras and persons circulated over social media, and you actually see um, what's going on. But robbery is a serious crime with far reaching consequences for the victims and their family. Can you imagine if your, your daughter working at a store, you, so you remember that young lady um, at the, the lumber store in, in Suzel, I think it was? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, yes. Look at how the guys beat up on her. You yes. really, I don't think that lady will ever be the same. You think that lady will want to work in a store and remain there on her own? I, I don't think she'll ever be the same. So it has long lasting effects. Yeah, look, very long lasting effects. Very, very, very long lasting effects um, on, on the victims. Yeah. When it comes to um, stats, um, are you able to give us some numbers? Oh, yeah. <laughs> as way back as 2015. Mm -hmm. um, in 2015, um, St. Lucia uh, wanted, well, reported that he said 362 uh, robberies. By 2016, it had gone up to 394. Mm -hmm. 311, I think that's your first number. <laughs> 311. 311, yeah, mm -hmm. in 2017. Mm -hmm. um, it went down in 2018 to 299. It went up in 2019 to 380. Oh, that's robberies. crazy. Yeah, and last year. 380? Yeah, in 2019. Wow. And last year, we had 232 robberies. Reported, eh? Reported. Reported robberies. There are persons who get robbed and they don't even come to make, to make a report. But more recently, we've seen a lot of armed robberies yeah a lot of armed robberies especially in this year oh. i mean when when you look at um um the the news outlets media um it's like every every other weekend or so oh yeah oh yeah, oh yeah. you you seen you seen um it's been oh yeah. reported that a, that a business case especially was 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 a, a victim of robbery mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um i'm wondering i'm gonna ask you this i don't know if you're able to answer mm -hmm. um do you believe that the mask huh mandate due to our covid protocols has provided an environment for robbery to flourish you a yeah. senior been there before covid mm -hmm. and covid what, what can you say about that okay i'll answer this question is in two ways i'll tell you what i think and i'll tell you what i think i've seen being done at some of the places and i believe other business places should practice it the mass is a problem I know we're in this pandemic that mm -hmm. you have to wear the mask but a lot of persons have taken the advantage of wearing that mask and going to commit a robbery. Now, take, in for, take for instance the small stores. Okay, you enter into Bank of St. Lucia. Let's choose grocery where I work mm -hmm. right now. When you enter, the security guard asks you to sanitize. Alright? Right. And asks you to sanitize. He doesn't sanitize your hand. And mm -hmm. this is something I would like some of the business places to stop. Alright? Do not have your security guard at the front door sanitizing people's hands. That's not his job. His job is to... He takes away his... his his, his observation his observation of yeah. awareness uh, okay so we, 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 we need to stop it. It. we need yeah. to stop allowing the security guards to sanitize person's hand all right there are different mechanisms in place right now to allow persons to sanitize their hands on their own that's right okay like when you enter into bangor st lucia grocery mm -hmm. let's just use bangor st lucia as a as a, exactly. as a case study right mm -hmm. you enter into bangor st lucia grocery there's a sanitizer and there's a camera yes you put on your mask you sanitize, so you check out your, your, your temperature, mm -hmm. you go in. You do not get a security guard coming in and telling you, um, can I give you a hand, spraying your hand. By that time, some, somebody has bypassed him already because his attention span is very short. That's right. Yeah, so I believe the mass is one of the big problems. I believe that business places should adapt um, similar mechanisms like what is at Bunga Sanusha right now, mm -hmm. where you sanitize, and then you bring on your mask in front of the camera. Now, what that would do, you would know if that, per that person, him or her, is up to no good. Mm -hmm. Because that's not you ask that person to bring on a mask. They would think twice. Yes. You know something is up. You know something Why bad. don't you want to bring on bring your mask? Bring on your mask. So that would uh, alert you instantaneously. So you see, that's a problem. Other than you have a security guard, spraying mm -hmm. you not even passing to me as you go inside you make a couple rounds of the store and all you hear is but later on we'll get into that okay <laughs> yes. Yeah. yes later on we'll get yes. into that 
Yes. Yeah. So you said definitely it's 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 yeah, yeah it is it is that yeah it does it does it's, it's, it's so, so right now it's 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 difficult for in terms of that to get the balance between um, enforcing or adhering to protocols when the mask yeah. mandate is definitely needed and at the same time um, not wanting to provide an environment for robbery to flourish. Well, it, we are going to take a, a quick break, ladies and gentlemen. Um, when we come back, we'll continue the discussion. Tell a friend to tell a friend we're on. NBC Television. Stay tuned to Police Insight. and the proud recipient of the 2018, 2019, and 2020 Grand Gold Mond Selection Quality Award. Our choice is clear. Crystal clear. McDowell Supplements, an effective way to ensure you and your loved ones are getting the daily recommended intake of essential vitamins, minerals, and other important nutrients necessary for optimal health. Naturally, we carry an array of health and wellness supplements. McDowell's Immune Booster enhances your body's defense to fight colds and flu, boosts your immune system, prevents viruses and other airborne diseases. McDowell's Colon Cleanser prevents constipation, helps in removing toxins from the colon, detoxifies the body, and regulates your bowel movements. McDowell's Prostate help prevent the enlargement of the prostate, improve urinary flow, and reduce frequent urination, especially at night. Moringa Oleifera capsules are rich in minerals like calcium, potassium, zinc, magnesium, iron, and copper, vitamins like beta-carotene of vitamin A, vitamin B such as folic acid, vitamin C, D, and E. McDowell's Potassium Complex, used for treating and preventing low potassium levels, high blood pressure, preventing stroke, and aid in weight loss. McDowell's Triple Magnesium relaxes the muscles, relieves cramps and helps to control high blood pressure, improves sleep, and can calm the nerves. Magnesium is very important for the normal functioning of cells, nerves, muscles, bones, and the heart. McDowell's Ginger Turmeric helps to relieve pain, decrease nausea and enhance the immune function to help protect against illness and infection. Ginger Turmeric has powerful anti-inflammatory properties and improves your circulation. Don't hold health back. Let health strike back. McDowell's, the better way to start your health. Visit Health Service Center, John Compton Highway. Call 453-6417. Let your wellness be our stress. Aging gracefully is the hope for everyone. But when you age prematurely, most people think that something is wrong with you. The natural enzymes and building blocks in your skin start to deplete. So fine or deep lines and wrinkles appear, making you look much older than you really are. At Derma Clinic, we can help repair your skin and change the way you look in minutes. These treatments will make you look younger. At Derma Clinic, we treat all kinds of skin problems, such as facial lines, dark circles around the eyes, crow's feet, and frown lines, using all-natural hyaluronic acid filler. So maintain and improve your facial appearance. For more information, call 453-6417 or 485-9818. Why are you suffering from aches, pains and illnesses? When there's help for you, at Health Service Center, we offer a wide range of treatment that has been scientifically proven to help you with your aches, pains and illnesses. Our ICT machine is one of the most effective devices in the health field. It has shown positive results in many health problems, such as back pains, shoulder pains, migraine headaches, pain in the knees and legs, poor circulation, arthritis, diabetic neuropathy, numbness in the feet, strokes and sports injuries. ICT, repairs, rebuild. The power to heal, the future of pain relief. You're watching MBC.
<laughs> Welcome back to Police Inside. Your host here, Sergeant Zachary Hippolyte of the Royal Social Police Force, in studio with me, Acting Inspector um, Matthew. Acting. <laughs> Acting. Yeah. He wants me to emphasize on that. I don't know why. Maybe he has his own, you know, reasons why. <laughs> Acting Inspector Matthew, uh, CID Grosley, um, and we, we're discussing robberies. And just before we continue, you know, this is the time I always um, point in time where I take the opportunity to give some shout outs. So checking out the Facebook chat there, and we have uh, Eugenie Francis, uh, Kaiser John, good night to you, Leslie Mitchell, Victor C. Anthony, what's up, my brother? Big up Thank Kaze. you, big, big up, up, big up. Corporal Kaiser John. Pe Peggy, you'll do that when you're ready. <laughs> Peggy Edward Daisy, uh, Leah George, uh, Maslin Flavius, Sean Noel, Manny Vig, what's up, what's up? Uh, Princess Emmanuel, Amanda Charles, how you doing, cuz? How's everything? Uh, Big Dennis, good night to you. Yulin Jabatis, uh, thanks for welcoming us back. Uh, who else we got there? Ivy Mitchell, what's up, what's up? Francis Joseph, um, good night to you. Uh, who else, who else, who else? Timothy Gasto, Hilarion Charles, good night to you. Now, I'm already seeing some, some comments and questions. Uh, also, WSRP, Juan Williams of the Northern Division, good night to you. Sergeant George of the SSU, Sergeant Shalmine and Corporal Harrison of Grosley. Also, WPC, Idella Joseph Volney of the CID Grosley. I'd like to say good night to you. Also, I'd like to say good night to um, my cousin, the, the current parliamentary rep of Grosley, Mr. Kenson Kazumi, who's locked in. I'd like to say good night to you. Kenson so, is your cousin? Yeah, Kenson is my cousin. Spider's my cousin too, you know, before you say anything. There's a try and put anything there, you know. Kazumi, but I'd like to say, we need to have a chat. You do have a chat, Mr. Kazumi. <laughs> <laughs> well, good night to you, Mr. Kazumi. He's <laughs> always, even before he was the parliamentary rep, he always locked into the show. Thank you so much, sir, for locking in. So, Mr. Paul Desmond, good night to you. Paul Desmond, son, so you have any shout outs, my brother? No, uh, you shout out somebody. Yeah, you were saying right. something a while ago. Right? <laughs> okay, <laughs> so let's get back to it. We're talking about robberies, it's yeah. a problem, it's affecting all um, communities, uh, districts. Um, so, effects on the victim. Talk to me. What's, <laughs> what's going on? What um, happens to the victim? Most times, Zach, uh, you know, robbery, the victims encounter the robbers face to face um, in close proximity. Put, someone puts a gun to your head, all right? Now, most times, all those victims, they feel a total loss of intimidation, or a, a total loss of immediate loss of control, sorry. Mm -hmm. All right? Now, when a weapon is involved, you feel a sense of helplessness. You're a police officer, Zach. You do not carry a weapon, right? For example, you don't carry a weapon. Somebody points a weapon at you. Hmm. Just imagine how would you feel. Yeah. Okay? So imagine you're a store attendant and somebody comes in to rob your store. That gun, even if the gun is fake, but the, the fact that there is a gun pointed at you, all right, that will keep on going through your mind up, uh, like you have nightmares. So you know, um, but I believe some what some other business places can do um, is after those incidents, they ensure that the staff get counselling. I am so happy you yeah. said that. Yeah, staff ensure that your staff get counselling because as police officers, when we're involved in incidents, we ourselves we need to also be debriefed and also get counseling. So ensure that your staff, they're debriefed and they get counseling. Inspector Azunda, let me just share a quick story. Because as the, as in, in community relations branch, we try right. our best also to do what we can in the fight against robbery. So some time ago, we visited a particular business place. Mm -hmm. The robbery probably may have taken place about two weeks already, Inspector. And we we interviewed one of the uh, immediate victims, victims okay, the individual that was mostly impacted. And that was two weeks ago. I don't think the individual was given any form of time off. Yeah. And I tell you, ladies and gentlemen, that individual, start, she just broke down mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. in front of us, mm -hmm. literally crying. So what you're saying there is so well, important. Is, I really it's, like it's, you to it's, reiterate it. It's, it's very important. It's not funny. Yeah. As mm -hmm. anything else, um, if persons from the Chamber of Commerce is listening, um, please ensure that the business places, they have these protocols in place where they give counseling to, uh, to the victims, to the, to the staff members when 
they're involved in an incident of a robbery because it's very 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 important and what i could encourage some of the the victims if you've not been given consent find somebody you could talk to to let the person know how you feel all right because it's better you talk to somebody than to keep it trapped up inside and bottled up inside of you all right and i want to encourage you to take care of your body and your mind if they're not giving you consent ask for time off mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and take care of your body and mind all right and just re-establish a normal routine as possible and get back to whatever, um, what you were doing maybe um inspector for your office and that of the um the the the, co the deputy commissioner in charge of operations that you also probably meet with the the chamber of commerce yeah. commerce the businesses in trying to establish that that protocol because you know you know a lot of um um employees have this fear yeah, yeah, of yeah. losing their livelihood oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. so they definitely need that support that understanding in having the business owners understand that when one of your employees has been directly impacted. I mean, no, everybody is not, impacted. Not just on the job, not just at the business place, huh? mm -hmm. when they're going home as well. Yeah, because know. we know of stories, persons who have been going home from work or, or heading to work and they're robbed. Some of them have even been even stabbed. Some have been killed. It makes it even worse. worse. In other words, what you're saying, yeah, because yeah. it's not on the business, it's not on the job, so yeah. the employees still expect you to yeah. come to work as Yeah, normal. but they're coming to work. They're coming to provide a service to persons. Can you imagine somebody being a victim of a robbery? and the entire day they're crying what kind of business do you um, um, um service you believe that they're going to provide to persons who come into the store and then you want them why are you crying or whatever, whatever but hey he or she needs counseling he or she needs to be debriefed all right i don't know excellent yeah so tell us um inspector what can what what can be done <laughs> in terms of Reducing robbers. What, so, what can uh, be done? So it, is it, is so, it, so it anything? Are we, are we putting on the hat of the government or are we putting on the hat of. I want the hat of all of them. Okay. Because we're all involved in the fight against crime. We have a new government. Yeah. There are representatives listening. They would like to hear what you all right. what I What I believe should be done um, stringent punishment should be given to the offenders. When you say right? stringent, explain. Make it harder. Make the, 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 the bill. Make it more difficult for them to get bail you know this way, feel it. Can, yeah like from the from the onset from the bail hearing make it hard on them all right because you know the punishments make it hard you know don't give somebody one year in prison for an armed robbery or two years you know review the um, um the sentencing mm -hmm. guidelines when it comes to robberies and stuff like that because we the police we out there trying our best to solve those robberies we wish we could have been everywhere to stop those robberies but i guarantee you we, we will stop one of them very soon hmm. We will stop one of them very soon, all right. And I don't want to be a situation where anybody will say, "You believe that police should be should, should have done that person not like that." Mm -hmm. well, you're not seeing what they're doing to other mm -hmm. persons. Yes. All right. You know, put some fear, um, um, um into those carpets to let them know that you know, let them think twice about going and rob somebody's establishment. You no, know, make it difficult for them. Set the bill in an amount that it will be difficult for them to pay. All right review the bail and sentencing guidelines as i said earlier as mm -hmm. race robbery okay we need installation of more cctv cameras in around the city and the towns that the cctv cameras it helps it helps okay it helps even if if there is more if we miss him at the on, on jeremy street and he goes onto the show say we'll pick him up by the time he probably get on the show he may have removed his or her mask ah that makes okay. sense because I'm sure someone's right. going to say, but they wear masks. So what, the what, and what, what I also believe that the government should do mm -hmm. is let's try and link up some most of the business places, CCTV cameras with what the police has. So if we miss okay. him in hours, okay. we could pick it up at one of the business places. Let's take for instance, we connected with SNS. SNS ah. is CCTV cameras or surveillance cameras. Mm -hmm. And a robbery happens somewhere close to SNS. But we miss him on, 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 on hours. Mm -hmm. And he, by, he walks right past SNS. The police could just log in and just pick it up. Uh, so, so currently, what opt-ins? You have to like go and get permission. Get, yeah, get permission. And some other places do not want to give. Some I said. Eh? And we no. cannot force them to. Can we can build a warrant. We can build a warrant. Yeah. But, yeah. but then all that okay. time. All right. Okay. One thing I believe that will work in Salusha, it will work wonders in Salusha, is the panic button. Both There's those buttons that would set the alarm. It mm -hmm. would just go off like a, a blazing siren. Mm -hmm. And there's those that probably could call the police control room directly you know it's there they squeeze it they would know where the robbery is happening but 
the new technology, I believe it, this thing could happen. We could have this thing in Saint Lucia. Okay. All right, human resources. Human resources. We need more officers. <laughs> more officers. Sorry will, for that. More officers will be called more patrols. More foot patrols, more mobile patrols. More mobile patrols and foot patrols in the town. What's happening will be more visibility. More visibility, less robberies. Less robberies because it, it affects people don't understand how, how important that is. Okay. It affects the operations, right? Okay, Zach, you and I are in a gang. Yo, Zach, we say we're robbing, robbing KFC today. Yeah, man, we go rob KFC. I'm gonna call today, you. Man. Oi, that's a, it's a in tongue, but a whole squad day. Whole squad day. You go up KFC again? Uh, we go okay. have to abandon that. Eh? All right. We have to abandon that. All there right. you go. All right. Um, it's true. I'm going to tell you some of the persons and the businesses. Be proactive. All right. You have systematically invest in protective factors, access control. Mm -hmm. Access control. You don't let any and everybody else walk into your store. You control the front door. Just like the Civil Service Credit um, Journal, they have access control. You just walk in into the credit union. Mm -hmm. All right? I'm God, but we'll come to that later <laughs> on. I'm <laughs> Getting God. on God, all right? Yes. And I believe that the government should create well-targeted programs. If the goal is to reduce robberies, then the program selection should be located in hot spots or like the hot areas. Mm -hmm. Focus on the population and group most likely to commit these crimes. And, and that group is between the ages of 16 and 25. So let's focus on those young persons. Let's see what see. is the cause of them going out there and doing those robberies. Is it jobs? Is it jobs? Is it greed? Greed. Mm -hmm. What is it? Mm -hmm. Let's see what is happening to see whether we could target it. I see, Inspector, you are, you are um, describing so a police. Yeah, a police approach. approach. It's not only the, the, the police. It's not only the police. You understand? It's not only the police. The car rentals have to get involved too because these guys, they rent the cars hmm. and they go under the robberies. Get a link with the police. Provide the police with the information of persons who rent your vehicle on a daily basis. I believe there should be a link between the. I believe there is a association, the car rental association, whatever. I think there is. Right. Sure. Yeah, I, I, I think there is. I, I, I know there is. They should have a link with the police. Send the licenses. Send the cars. Who has those cars? So the police know what is happening. Because they come, and anybody could just go and rent. I will just tell you, Zach, rent, go and rent a car for me. You go, you have a license here, and you give it to me. I go, I do a robbery down south. I come back, I give it to you. And you go back. The majority of the vehicles that have been intercepted in some of those robberies are rented vehicles. Are rented vehicles. So it's everybody has to get on board. Everybody has to get on board. This is, this is, this is very, very serious and interesting. Let me just see if I can get a quick comment there from... Um, someone is saying on the Facebook chat, you want to stop some of these robberies? Let's start with mandatory sentences for armed robberies. Let's say 15 years. Yeah, that's, why, that's why I said <laughs> That's why I said it. said 15 years. Uh, yeah. Let me see what else I have there. Um, I reported a financial fraud which took place on my account at Bank of Sinusha. The staff was terminated and I was told the police have on file my report was false. Absurd. I had to report the incident to international law enforcement agencies such as the FBI. I also reported an incident to a media house and a senior citizen who is involved in law told the media person don't report my incident because they have an interest in one of the parties. <laughs> okay, let's let's move on. Let's move on, in Inspector. Um, I mean, um, <laughs> offenders. Are we identifying them? Identify, <laughs> yes, yes. Let's, let's educate Boy. the people. Oh, That's right. very, very important. Yeah. Identifying um, those offenders. Okay. Most times, this is, a, this is one of the, 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 the ways we could solve um, a robbery by identifying the perpetrator. And how do we identify the perpetrator? You know, start with the sex, whether that person was male or female, all right? The person's skin complexion, the hair, the eyes, any, um, anything significant about that person, you know? The, 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 the person's, uh, whether the person has a, a cut above the, the eye, you know, any, any marks on them. All right, the color of the eyes, the ears, you know, know the size, whether it's protruding, whether it's flat, the chin, you know, whether it's round, oval, um, the height. Now, when you're comparing height, you use your height. If you're 5'9", try to remember whether the person was shorter or taller um, than you. We really right? need to um, educate persons, you know, because I know for <laughs> sure. I do think solutions actually take out um, of the height. No, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't, so. I, do, I don't yeah, think that, so. Yeah, that's I a problem there. I don't think so. I yeah, think we have so. to change the psychology yeah. of our people. Yeah, there, there's a lot of things um, um, you could look at. The way the person walks into the place, the way the person talks. Now, let me tell you something. Sometimes the person who comes to rob you today was at your store the day before. Hmm. Imagine that. Or two days before. 
okay? They come, they scout the place. They don't just come and say, they always have somebody. Sometimes they would, and if you notice some of the videos, we notice an individual walking in mm -hmm. and an individual behind him with a backpack. And most times you see the individual with the backpack removing the weapon from his or, or her bag. And I say his or her because yes. sometimes you don't know. So if you're a security, if you're a, a staff member of business, and you see that, you see somebody circulating in a business place with a backpack, call the police. So you see, here's the problem. They're busy sanitizing people's hands. <laughs> They're busy sanitizing uh, people's hands. But, uh, um, throughout the show, you're going to hear us say that over and over, that the business places, you need to have your security officers doing their jobs not sanitizing people's hands yeah. not going and throw the garbage in the back <laughs> that's not the job of the security okay. we're going to take another quick break when we come back we're going to get the, the, the we're going to get to the, the advice okay the advice the tips the prevention and whatnot stay tuned to police inside Parti se jou sa la. Pa ni l'ajan anko. Si nou tout pou responsabilite et fè sa nou ni pou fè. Bagay la kay mache et nou tout kay manje. An nou tiwe la pe nou. Nou kay danse anko. Wear a mask. Wash your hands and maintain a six feet distance. If we keep St. Lucia safe, we can keep our economy running. Aging gracefully is the hope for everyone. But when you age prematurely, most people think that something is wrong with you. The natural enzymes and building blocks in your skin start to deplete. So fine or deep lines and wrinkles appear, making you look much older than you really are. At Derma Clinic, we can help repair your skin and change the way you look in minutes. These treatments will make you look younger. At Derma Clinic, we treat all kinds of skin problems, such as facial lines, dark circles around the eyes, crow's feet, and frown lines, using all-natural hyaluronic acid filler. So maintain and improve your facial appearance. For more information, call 453-6417 or 485-9818. Why are you suffering from aches, pains and illnesses? When there's help for you, at Health Service Center, we offer a wide range of treatment that has been scientifically proven to help you with your aches, pains and illnesses. Our ICT machine is one of the most effective devices in the health field. It has shown positive results in many health problems, such as back pains, shoulder pains, migraine headaches, pain in the knees and legs, poor circulation, arthritis, diabetic neuropathy, numbness in the feet, strokes and sports injuries. ICT, repairs, rebuild. The power to heal, the future of pain relief. Boost your commercial success with NBC TV and NBC Social. Don't look back, invest in your advertising. Reach your target audience at peak times and off peak times. We deliver strategically placed advertising spots at the most competitive rates. Also ask about our production services, which include television ad production, jingles and documentaries designed to suit your business needs. We also deliver classified ads designed for land sales, job opportunities and more. Advertise with NBC TV and NBC Social. Watching MBC.
Welcome back to Police Insight. Your host there, Sergeant Zachary Plate of the Royal Central Police Force. In studio with me is Acting Inspector. Acting. Acting. <laughs> Acting <laughs> Inspector uh, Sherman Matthew of the uh, Grosley Police Station Central, <laughs> ME Central, sorry. CID. CID, that yeah. is Criminal Investigations Department. Uh, we continue the conversation. I have a, a, a statement here from um, a viewer, Inspector. Uh, I, 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 I'm minded to read it now because when we open up the lines, I might not get a chance. He's saying, he or she, I'm not too sure. Um, good night, gentlemen. Let me begin by saying that the magistrates are taking a joke too far now. They just keep on remanding persons for petty offenses and are left there to languish at bodily for months. They stay, which is at a cost sometimes, surpasses what the penalty of the offense or the person saying on remand. This puts a burden on the finances of the country. Then you have the proliferation of guns. It's high time the authorities need to put measures in place. Murder is a available offense. Are you kidding me? I believe that laws should be strengthened in order to curb those robberies. Once you are caught with an unlicensed firearm, remand the person with no bail conditions. Probably the human rights law is not like that, Inspector. Likewise, if you sentence throw the entire book at you. Make firearm offenses a non-billable offense. That will deter them. If you caught with a firearm, you should be sentenced to six to ten years. That's, well, thank you well, for your well, contribution. Well, I want to say that the mm -hmm. sentencing guidelines for firearm has been reviewed. If now you could get ten years um, in prison if you charge indictably for a firearm. Mm -hmm. yeah. But the thing is that you could. It, it's all left up to... Yeah, the, 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 the judge. The judge. Not, yeah, because we recently had two matters where um, an individual got six years for a firearm. Another one got, I think, nine years for the amount of ammunition and stuff he has. So, I think the 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 the, the wheels are starting to 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 turn, mm -hmm. right? But that's in the in the high court. So, I'm not sure for the, the magistrate's court. Yeah. Um, yeah. But what can, what I could say to this, what the person just said there. Mm -hmm. oh, once I was having a conversation with a magistrate um, in England, and she told me that there was a, there was a time where England, you know, England has a lot of violence that. Or that includes um, knives. Mm -hmm. What they did, they made it. They they made had some stringent measures when it comes to knife offenses. Some you could in England. Um, she told me that you could have easily got four years in prison for just pulling a knife and telling somebody I'm going to stab you. Interesting. So you know what it what it what this does, right? It deters you, right, from wanting to commit any offense before that. Because you know, just by threatening somebody for knife, you get four years in prison. That's a lot. Yeah. So I believe a lot of these things that we have to look. At. I remember when. Barbados had some issues with robberies, mm -hmm. um, cash for gold. They had some cash for gold. And there were a lot of robberies, persons snatching other persons' chains. Um, they tweaked the, the, the penalties and stuff for robberies. It went down by a hundred. Yeah, so a lot of, that's a lot of things we have to, to begin to um. But So we just at. came to my inspector before we go into the, the section of um, advising <coughs> people and the prevention tips. But even when you look at security, as in our security brothers and sisters, are, are we really taking that serious? Look, look, look at the level of security. Have, have we looked at upon the level, their training? Yeah. Do they look intimidating? Do, what, what do you think can be done in that well, regard? I, I've been to other Caribbean islands and I see certain security guards. I'd, I'd swear they were police officers. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think probably as time goes by, those security companies would train persons better. I hate to see a security guard working at a business place where money is involved. And I'll tell you why. I've, I've, I've gotten the reason why some of them don't want to hire armed guards. Hmm. Um, you're working at a business place where money comes in and out. And you're the security guard is there and he doesn't have a firearm. So if somebody comes to rob there, what will he tell them? Hey, stop. Don't rob. It was not a firearm. <laughs> yeah. They laughed at they that in, in the back. They, they, they're coming to rob the place. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But what I've heard is that having an armed guard is more expensive yeah. Than having an unarmed guard. So, so they rather so, go with the un unarmed. So basically, you do not care about the safety and security of your staff members. That's what you're telling me. <laughs> it's just uh, that, 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 that's just crazy. I, I really hope. I really hope um, we reach to that point where we, yeah. we take this we very really, serious. We really take it very serious. You understand? And like you said, Inspector, you know, I've gone to certain places and and. Um, when I look at the security officer, his demeanor, yeah. it's, 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 it's ridiculous. 
it's really 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 ridiculous and those criminals they they observe this they they have all the time in the world yeah, yeah. to observe and then yeah. they pounce and then like you said you have a, a employee that would be traumatized for more than a year plus yeah. going. Yeah, they, live with, they, they live with that. They live with it's that. It's like a young lady being raped at an early age and for the rest of her life she cannot she cannot see men in her eyes. That's the same thing for a robbery. Yeah, that's 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 very serious. As far as you see anybody suspicious walking into a place where you're working, you'd get scared. This is the same thing for a young girl being raped at an early age. What do you think would happen? If either she continue along that line or she becomes fearful of men lit as she go ahead in life. I basically already is the mine. Let's talk to the businesses. Let's give <laughs> business, some advice business to businesses. Places. Mm -hmm. um, opening and closing procedures should be established. When I say that, I will, as I go through the, the tips, you will hear what I'm saying. All right? Have several employees present when opening and closing your business. Several? There is strength in, in numbers. numbers. <laughs> okay. All right? Inspect your business places for forcible entry before entering the business. Okay, the, sometimes the person who's willing to rob could probably break into the place and hide when hmm. you're coming, when you're putting out the float. Okay. At closing time, make sure nobody is hiding in there. Okay, for explore, especially the, the financial establishments. Mm -hmm. Some persons will come in close to them, close, ask to use the washroom, and then they hide in there, they don't come out. All right. Also, you need to ensure that your employees are safe when they're going into the parking lot. Ensure that the parking lot is properly lit. There's no overgrowing bush anywhere near the parking lot that somebody could see from the from one end to the other end of the parking lot. All right. I have a cash handling system. All cash right? handling system. Right. Every business place should have a cash handling system. Okay. Basically, recently some of the, the robberies. The, the offenders have not been getting a lot of cash because I believe right now a lot of businesses they clear the cash at a certain point. Which is good. Yeah, so it makes so so you would live with, with less. Keep a minimum of cash on hand, both in the drawers and in the safe. Mm -hmm. All right. Um business owners, managers, supervisors, do periodic checks to ensure that everybody knows what they should do when it comes to handling of cash. Mm -hmm. Alright, do not make the cash visible for persons. See, because the robber would come there, all right come there let's say you want to go to rob the credit union to come there we'll see where the young lady is putting the money where it is so you will see how easy it is to jump over the counter you know how easy it is to hold the security guard who's by the door right hold the security guard who's giving the door his back you understand you you know they would they, they, they would do all these things i still don't get right? the um the the logics inspector in some businesses in st lucia sending and please i am not knocking down on ladies yeah <laughs> but that's the reality this is the fact yeah. sending poor defenseless ladies to go and drop off their cash for them or to go and collect um, change on the money or go and collect change <laughs> and most times they, they take the same route i, wa I was recently at a I, I was recently at a bank in the north a staff member of another establishment came to get change from that bank mm -hmm. the bank is not the bank is within the same compound as the establishment i'm talking about the marina the staff came in clear bag put change and she walked out of it and i'm oh my god walk street i immediately called the place access with your supervisor i told her what my thoughts were she gave me her thoughts we had a good conversation and she told okay. me she told me thanks hmm. all right unlike another business place where there was a robbery and I pose a question to the manager or the swell or wherever she was. I was like, Mom, why don't you have an arm guard? There's a lot of money going in and out. Her response was, is there anything written that I should have an arm guard? Oh, my I told goodness. her, I'm sorry. All right? I'm very sorry. Mike, that's, that's all, that, that's all I said to, to you. That's, yeah, that's all I said to her. So you see the attitude. You see what yeah. we're talking about. Yeah. Yeah. Is there anything written? Mm -hmm. And they can afford it. Yep, they can afford it. They can <laughs> afford it. Yeah, people, I'm not mentioning anything. Let's take saying. that serious, right. people. Okay, like the presence of uniform guards, it serves mm -hmm. as a deterrent. Mm -hmm. All right, the use of of of, of armored trucks or the 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 the, the, or the guardsman and mm -hmm. these people, it works. It works. Other than telling, they look so mean. Hey Mary, come and drop the cash. Mary, go with um, manager John. Yeah. Mary jump in manager John's car. When you ask Mary, 
the cartoons out onto the highway. Somebody pulls up, robs Mary and John. Robs, robs Mary and John. Yeah. And you could just simply pay the amateur. All right? Um, they, I believe the employee should be trained to look at and report suspicious actions of persons inside or outside the business places. All right? Do not hesitate to call the police and be worried when the police arrives. All right? Um, give every customer in the business a friendly greeting. How important yeah. is that? Give them a friendly greeting. You know what will happen in a friendly greeting? Mm -hmm. Eye contact. You remember something about the eyes. Officer, I remember his eye have a little, a little dark spot or something there. That's how you could remember him. He came there yesterday. That's the same man. Go, go and check the surveillance camera. He came there without a mask yesterday. You remember? And, and, and that's just part of proper so customer then, you, service. You, you, you and there's a good, good morning. No one take you yeah, on. I've on. walked into business spaces and I swear, I swear, I could have just entered there, take something and leave and no mm -hmm. one would know. Mm -hmm. Because like no one re even acknowledges your presence. Yeah. yeah. Make any eye contact. Yeah. You remember them. Wow. Just that, that little thing. Just that little thing. Good morning, ma'am. How are you? Welcome to SNS. You look at them in the eye. You, you remember seeing about the eyes. Next day, SNS get robbed. It's that person come, walks out, looks at you straight in the eye. You remember. He was there yesterday. Very important tip. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Very important tip. And there, there are so many things that we could do that, yes. that it's, it's around us. Like, I remember a guy, I, I interviewed him recently. He was part of one of the, the robberies. He told me that he entered into SNS, purchased some items. He had $7,500. He didn't want to leave it in his car. <laughs> so he said, let him go into the other store, which was robbed. So what he did, he placed it. He said he placed it in his back pocket, the envelope. Mm -hmm. Okay, that was money to pay something. The place gets robbed, he, he was placed flat on his stomach. Yeah, the guy searched him, pull, <laughs> and pull the envelope from his back pocket. But I didn't watch that, eh? Could you imagine if you had placed it in your front? <laughs> then you'd be lying on your stomach. They would never get the $7,500. Mm -hmm. Officer, you see a lot of these That's little things true. you could do that, that could uh, prevent you from prevent, um, the loss that. Yeah, during a robbery. So there's a lot of different little things that we could do. We'll, it will not happen, but I, I guess as time goes by, we learn from mistakes of other persons. Is there a concern, Sergeant, of, um, you've heard it, suspicions of inside collusion? In oh. your experience, have you been able to prove inside collusion, especially with even some security officers themselves? What I could say to business. How could you advise Which camera we have to watch? The, this one is there, is yours. That one there? Yeah, that one there. Right. Okay, what I could say to business, or, um, business owners, do you all trust your employees? Do you all trust them? Do you believe that some of your employees are setting you up? Hmm. That's the question I'm going to leave you tonight. And if you don't trust them, you all should do better background checks when employing certain persons in certain establishments. Background checks. Because I could guarantee you that some of the robberies in the past have been inside jobs. How do you think the robber knows where you, your, your, your safe is? Hmm. How do you think the robber knows what time you bringing the cash in my goodness more than likely comes from the inside so do you trust your employees that that's that that's some questions right yeah. there do you trust your employees so background checks is very important very important background checks you all employ any and everybody Sometimes with the police, we go do some business business and we say, but hey, this guy was in. Where? We arrested this guy for theft. And what that man doing there? Why is he <laughs> But, you know, persons, people change, yeah? You give people the benefit of the doubt. Well, but, but still. But, so, but it will raise an eyebrow. Mm -hmm. At least for the, 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 yeah. the employer would know. Is, is it okay for business owners to, let's say, if they're doing a background check, um, in a particular community mm -hmm. that they could come to the station and yeah. have a discussion, a discussion with the senior officers yeah. there. Is it okay for them to picture, do that? Um, I'm mm -hmm. opening a new business. Um, I want to employ John Paul. Um, do you know anything about John Paul? What kind of person is John Paul? Well, I'm sure right. some people don't know they can uh, do that. Right. There's a police officer there and say, but I knew this man. We arrested this man last week. Or oh, this man had been involved in, you know? Yes. Oh, yeah, he's a, yeah, a nice young guy. He's involved in sports in the community and everything like that. You could do these things. All they do, go get a police record. A, a clean police record doesn't mean that you're not, you're not a, 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 an offender. Like I, you need to <laughs> see a gate inspector for them to hear and so, understand. <laughs> yeah. A clean yeah. police record doesn't mean that you've not been arrested That's for right. any offense. That's right. You may have stole $12,000 from your previous place of business and 
we do uh, the business places and you do a uh, quote unquote washman. A washman. So a washman. A washman don't come on your record. A washman don't come on your record. <laughs> yeah, you thought you didn't even got in charge. Yes. So a clean police record doesn't mean that you you have not committed a, a criminal offense. So background checks are very, very, very important. Very important. Okay, we are going to take another break. When we come back, we shall open up the lines and we shall still continue. We still have so many tips <laughs> and advice to give people. It's unbelievable. Stay tuned to Police Insight. Podium free and the proud recipient of the 2018, 2019, and 2020 Grand Gold Mon Selection Quality Award. Our choice is clear, crystal clear. Aging gracefully is the hope for everyone. But when you age prematurely, most people think that something is wrong with you. The natural enzymes and building blocks in your skin start to deplete. So fine or deep lines and wrinkles appear, making you look much older than you really are. At Derma Clinic, we can help repair your skin and change the way you look in minutes. These treatments will make you look younger. At Derma Clinic, we treat all kinds of skin problems, such as facial lines, dark circles around the eyes, crow's feet, and frown lines, using all-natural hyaluronic acid filler. So maintain and improve your facial appearance. For more information, call 453-6417 or 485-9818. McDowell Supplements, an effective way to ensure you and your loved ones are getting the daily recommended intake of essential vitamins, minerals, and other important nutrients necessary for optimal health. Naturally, we carry an array of health and wellness supplements. McDowell's Immune Booster enhances your body's defense to fight colds and flu, boosts your immune system, prevents viruses and other airborne diseases. McDowell's Colon Cleanser prevents constipation, helps in removing toxins from the colon, detoxifies the body, and regulates your bowel movements. McDowell's Prostate Health prevent the enlargement of the prostate, improve urinary flow, and reduce frequent urination, especially at night. Moringa Oleifera capsules are rich in minerals like calcium, potassium, zinc, magnesium, iron, and copper, vitamins like beta-carotene of vitamin A, vitamin B such as folic acid, vitamin C, D, and E. McDowell's Potassium Complex, used for treating and preventing low potassium levels, high blood pressure, preventing stroke, and aid in weight loss. McDowell's Triple Magnesium relaxes the muscles, relieves cramps and helps to control high blood pressure, improves sleep, and can calm the nerves. Magnesium is very important for the normal functioning of cells, nerves, muscles, bones, and the heart. McDowell's Ginger Turmeric helps to relieve pain, decrease nausea and enhance the immune function to help protect against illness and infection. Ginger Turmeric has powerful anti-inflammatory properties and improves your circulation. Don't hold health back. Let health strike back. McDowell's, the better way to start your health. Visit Health Service Center, John Compton Highway. Call 453-6417. Let your wellness be our stress.
Welcome back to Police Insight. Your host there, Sergeant Zachary Police in studio with me. Very informative, very educative um, program tonight. Talking about robberies, everything robberies is Acting Inspector Shivan Matthew of the Criminal Investigations Department um, of North. We're going to open up the lines, Shane, 4533911. 4533911. Um, you could also WhatsApp me, 7200401, with your comments. I'll, I shall also be checking the chat for comments. Call in, tell us what you think we can do to fight the scourge of robberies. Have you been a victim of robbery yourself? Would right. you like to share your story with us? You could call the show real live. Let me just check the Facebook page there. And someone comments. Lawyers have a big part to play in coming together with law enforcement. In all offenses. And putting strict laws in place to deal with these criminals. But I suspect it won't happen because it will take money away from them, especially defense attorneys. Yeah, they're right. They, but they, what do you, they, you, they, you used job, to react they, to that? Their job, their job is, is, is to defend. To defend, yeah. 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 yeah the, um, Everyone's right to a defense, yeah. right? Yeah. Okay, we have a call. We have our first caller for the night. Good night, caller. What's up, buddy? Thanks for calling. Yeah, um, I was waiting. Um, I ain't been looking at what to share with you and stuff like this. It's a very valuable point, but I'm happy to just share with you a picture of the age of 17. And I wanted to know what is the experience you take for a security person that needs to go up a step higher without losing the ball? Say, say the last part again. I didn't hear you properly or speak a little louder. Uh huh. Oh. Oh. Training, probably. Yeah, I, I know some time ago, uh, was it two, three years ago? I remember that there was training. Our organization yeah, partnered with the sec a lot of security officers, gave them training, they got certification. Um, that's one thing I know that 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 can happen. Um, we, you you care to? I think um, I think it's it's needed again. Yeah. Um. I, if I was in a, in a position where I could have done it, um, I would pro organize a, a course uh, for security guards because, mm -hmm. you know, s sometimes a security guard is almost uh, like a police. Yeah. Yeah. Law enforcement. Yeah. And I believe that they should be trained almost like police where they come, they do the courses um, in um, writing a report, mm -hmm. you know, um, responding to incidents, you know. Um, Scene crime scene contamination because sometimes a, a shooting could happen right outside a store where security works and he or she wouldn't know what to do or, or ask persons to you know to move away until the police comes. Even those arm um, guards in fire um, 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 training mm -hmm. because I believe th this is something that um, that could be looked at. Um, yeah, like train, yeah. Yeah, train them just like have a two week um, training course, you know, it comes with an exam and everything. You know, make them feel good about themselves. Yeah. Because, because a lot of times persons look down on security guards. They call them watchmen, call them security But they play a vital role, Zach. They play a vital role. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Thank you, Carla. Yeah, he be, he be making a, a very vital point. Yeah. The security guards, they see, they see a lot. Yeah, I think he's talking about what will happen if they see you, that they will be protected. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and, I, as a matter of fact, yeah. I came across a, a message on my phone. Let me see if I could retrieve it. Where someone was asking a, a question like that. Um, let me see if I get it. Oh, hopefully I could get it. But I was wanted to know if there's anything in place, if I remember the question, well, if there's anything in place, 
um, for individuals who wish Providing to give information. information in terms of yeah. robberies. Yeah. yeah, is there anything in place to protect persons who give out information that leads to the arrest of persons involved in robberies? Um, and, and we keep trying to remind persons that we have a um, it's four five two six seven. Uh, my goodness. The hotline. Yeah, the hotline. Yeah, I can't okay. Remember, I can't remember Trying to get that. I, I'll get that. I'll, let's take that call. Good night, caller. I'm actually interviewing the volume. I don't know why we hang them a little low, Shane. Or is it the caller who's not speaking loud enough? Yeah, yeah we hear you, caller. Okay, all right. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night, caller. Yeah. Good night. That's not a problem. That's what police inside is about. Go ahead. Yeah. 
You understand? You start to have to tell you when well, leave your post and go take that over there and go do this over there. That's right. right. I'm going to you have to be yeah. in a strategic area in that establishment where you could see the ins and outs. And to me, you need to observe personal vehicles pull up in the in the, in the parking lot. You supposed to be able to see, you know, from a vantage point of what exactly if you can, what exactly is happening Great in that points. vehicle, yeah. who's yeah. coming out, what you know. You need to put yourself. You cannot be distracted at all, you know. And as um, Mr. Dakir has said, that security guards not supposed to be sanitizing people. <laughs> State of Section I am sure. The people need to allow the security guard to do their job and get somebody else or get a portable sanitizing machine, put it there so people could walk in and sanitize. This guy has been watching you the know? show. And, <laughs> you know, and some of the tips, Mr. Showman has given there, um, I mean, I have very good tips. Mm -hmm. And as I, I will look, I'll use some of it to try to pick up my own too. Very <laughs> you know, good um, one. Because security is a personal responsibility. That's yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. You know, And your vehicles too, I don't forget. We have a serious yes. problem right now with vehicles, with vehicles, well, vehicles getting scrapped. Well, Stolen well, and scrapped. Well, well, for me, I was. Let me explain something to you. I, before COVID, I took out to show, like maybe golf or country club, mm -hmm. KT, and the places. If, when I go, I always go to early, especially in a good park. A good parking. <laughs> if I reach late, if I reach late and I can't get a proper parking, I'm not parking my vehicle, no, by the way, I go back at my own, my God. Because yeah. at the end of the day, it doesn't work losing your vehicle. Yeah. Just to go and have a good time. Because the other time I go recall, I left the show a little earlier around 1 foot in the night and I was driving out. And I saw something suspicious where some guys were taking out some tires at this hour of their vehicle. <laughs> and my mind was telling me that it was not their vehicle. My goodness. You know? Yeah. So people need to. The, the, the security is a personal responsibility. You can't always blame the police. The police can be everywhere. So we need to keep our eyes open and, 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 and ensure that we know what we're doing. Thank so you, Thank you. Thank you. I enjoyed the show. Thank All you right, so thank much. you. <laughs> much appreciated. Uh, yeah, and yeah. Um, our crime hotline is 452-7463. It's 45-CRIME. 45-CRIME. So that's 452-7463. As we continue um, with the show moving forward, I'll ensure that we have it on the screen so that you could always call that number and give your information anonymously. You don't have to give your name or anything to identify yourself and you could give that information. Um, our next call. Let's, what's that? We have a next call? Or let's take that call. Good night, caller. Good night, Mr. Good night. What's up, buddy? And see your, see your, see your guest. Yeah, yeah, man. Good night. I'm there, my brother. Talk to me. Yeah. Mr. Zakari, how many kids in your, your, your form already? With those cameras, they have only this. <laughs> I won't be able to give you an exact amount. All I know is that, according yeah. to our inspector here, they assist a lot. They assist mm -hmm. the police a lot in cracking down on cases. This is a very funny fact to mix. I like that. That's another good and wrong. Often, I haven't heard anything from them. I don't hear anybody yet. But if you have cameras, they don't have anything on them. But what I what I what I could tell you, um, the Dr. Freezer's robbery, somebody was charged. Okay, right, okay. Yes, the Dr. Dr. Freezer's robbery, somebody was charged. One of the individuals that entered the, the entered the store was charged. Okay, that, that's very good, good, good news. news. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. And, I'm, and I'm saying people have to have, have to have to to tell to tell us to their own to their own security security devices there because. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, the other thing, Mr. Zakari, when they're when they already fellas, now they have to ask that robbery on the arm, right? Arm robbery, yes. Arm robbery. Yeah. I find the, 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 the legal system, she may go on. <laughs> you, you get a fellow in the fire, it's 10 years or more. You can't have a fellow going to the village, just tell them go home and be a good person, no more, like this is a good person. No, but show. Yeah. You have to be there because they hurt. I think one of the things again that we're looking to is that that question is if um, it is a fire. I'm not going to run up the TV. She should be very weak here too. 
Are you telling me you're right with to bend to the same place if you're not okay? No. That should be, if you will bend you, 30 will be the right. 30 will be the right. So you know what that is. Yeah. Good night. Yeah, good night. Thank you so much. Yeah. Same so, thing we're saying. Eh? I'm <laughs> just ask if there is still 11 p.m. curfew. Yes, viewer, there is an 11 p.m. curfew. Um, however, we've been um, told that there will be a review of the protocols, and hopefully, we should hear about that maybe tomorrow, Thursday, whatever the case may be, whenever the Prime Minister has decided to inform the nation. Uh -huh. Yes. Um, Inspector, yes, sir. let's talk about what someone should be doing, what, what, what we should be doing during a robbery. So a robbery is occurring. All right. What, what should we be doing apart from freaking out? All right. Um, during a robbery, what, what you was, uh, your, or the employees at, at the business places um, do can have tremendous impact on the outcome of the situation. I remember there was a robbery at a particular credit union in Castries and a lady, um, a lady or a guy stayed from the top window where she was and she jumped onto the road. My uh, she, she, um, she, broke, she broke her leg. So one of the main things you're supposed to do during a robbery is to remain calm. Stay calm. Um, yes, it may seem slightly unreasonable um, to expect anyone to remain calm in a robbery situation, but bringing undue attention um, to yourself mm -hmm. could cause panic and endanger lives. All right? Another thing, you could do is you need to cooperate again the robber cooperate. cooperate they only had to take the money and uh, and whatever if jewelry or whatever and leave as quick as possible as possible okay okay all right um do not argue do not fight do not play don't try and play be no superhero all right also you, you're supposed to remain observant all right this is the best defense is being been observed. Try to gather as much information as possible. I said earlier, make eye contact mm -hmm. with the person. All right. Sometimes that that, that robber may have entered the stop before, as I said. Before robbing there, you have passed you in the front. In the front. Now, try to make eye contact. Be systematic in your observation. Mentally note the person's um, racial origin, um, sex, age, height, the color of the hair. All right. Um, take note of what they disguise themselves in. Okay. It could be a situation where that person have a baseball cap with an A on top. If you remember that, the police go, they have a suspect, they search and they get a, say, a cap fitting the description of what it's, it's, it's um, circumstantial evidence. Okay, it could tie up with the other evidence that we, we, um, we may have um, recovered. So we may recover a firearm, you know, so it, it, it would help. Okay, observe the, the, the robber's hand, whether that person is holding the gun with their left hand, with their right mm -hmm. hand. Very uh, important. Yeah, it's, 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 it's very important. All right. And try to do so, as I said, calmly, all right? So try not bringing undue attention to yourself, remain calm, be observant, and just cooperate. If you need to urinate, let the robber know that you want to urinate, or just urinate on yourself. <laughs> or just, yeah yeah. 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 Okay. And what you should do after, after robbery. Right. So the robbers have left. All right. When, when, when the robber leaves, um, staff should not attempt to follow the robber. I say again, do not be a superhero. You're not a superhero. All right. If you have to activate the alarm, do so. Try not to clean up anything, especially if the robber comes into a place where there's a glass case and they touch the glass case and they're not wearing a glove. Try not to wipe it off or mm -hmm. do anything. You may smudge a print. A print may help us um, solve the matter. But as you wait for the police, take time to document what you saw, that if you can, because other persons will be nervous, but you know, the strongest person among the bunch could document um, what may have happened. If there are any witnesses, ask the witnesses to remain, or take their, their, their contact information for the police so that the police could contact them, you know, because they may have been robbed as well during that um, robbery in the mm -hmm. store. All right, it's, you know, so it's always important because sometimes that person may have had um, the ID card or, or the bank card taken from them and they would need a police report you know, to get those things um, replaced. So it's important that the police interview them and assist them in preparing an investigation file so that they will be able to get um, their, their cards or anything that they may have lost during the robbery. I have a question to ask mm -hmm. you. And, and, and we, I, I, I'm going to ask that question because I've heard persons have that discussion. They have this mentality, that thinking. Does the law give you the right 
to defend yourself against a <laughs> robber and to what degree of defense, Inspector? Ooh. <laughs> somebody, asked some, me, some somebody, somebody asked me that last week. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Some people saying as I'm, uh, even if they're able to, they yeah, don't do nothing okay. because the law when, is I'm, under right. Let me, I, let me try to answer to the best of my ability. Yeah. If I'm wrong, I'll accept correction from anybody who will meet me tomorrow. I believe that if you're a licensed farm holder and there's a robbery incident going on, a farm was given to you to defend your life, your property, and the life of anybody that's, mm -hmm. that's in danger. Do not tell me you, you're a farm licensed holder. You, you're in a position to intercept a robbery or... or and you do nothing. And you do nothing. Right, that, um, but they, what they were going to tell you, that officer, but if I shot the man in the robbery, the gun, the farm will be taken away from, from me. me. I might be charged like, for murder. Might be said, I, what I will tell them, there are procedures for everything. It has to, if it comes to that, to that, the, the by the time the officers were the way the evidence they notice that whether your actions was justifiable or non That's unjustifiable. Right. All right. I don't think if you're intercepting a robbery and something happened that you will be sent to to, to jail. Exactly. Yeah. Okay, but as anything else, it's an investigative um, process. Certain things um has to be done. Uh, don't tell me that you're in a situation where you somebody is robbing somebody, and you're trained in self-defense and you're not helping that person. All right, just put yourself in that person's shoe that you've been robbed, or your your daughter being robbed, and that somebody could stop the situation, or somebody could intercept that robbery, or somebody could prevent that robbery from continuing, and they do nothing about it. That's that's basically what I have to tell them. But as anything else, a farm is used. The investigation has to. Even for police. Yeah, ex yeah. Exactly. If we ask police officers, um, intercept a robbery. All right. We still have to give our statements. Our firearms has to be taken to be tested, and stuff like that. It, it happens to, to to all of us. Okay. This is the 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 the, the task you have been given when you, you you've been given a firearm. Having a farm is like having a baby. You need to. You need to do everything to ensure that, you know, for the, the safety and protection of everybody. Exactly. All right? And if you discharge a wrong, you're supposed to be able to justify why you discharge that wrong. Okay? It could be simply, he was robbing the, 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 the um, SNS. I was in there. I had a farm. I got a clear shot at him. I took evasive action, and I tried to disable him. Simple like that. Simple as yeah. that. I have a comment here from a viewer. Uh, good night, Mr. Hippolyte and your guest. Warm welcome. Well, <laughs> oh my God. Welcome back, Mr. Hippolyte. Looks like the wife is taking good care of you. You're looking good, man. Yeah, the wife must be doing a good job. Big up. <laughs> but good show, sir. I'm learning a lot uh, out of it. Um, take care. Thanks for educating us. I um, thank you, Carla. I'm not too sure about the wifey thing. Do we, I don't think he has that. Yeah, the one before the last. He has that slide? Yeah. Are you able are you able to put up the um the slide before the last? The slide before the last in the in the um PowerPoint I sent for you, Shane? Yes, and okay. then um, we will be taking it. Right. Thank you, viewer, for the compliment. Do I look like a wife is taking care of me, my brother? Yeah, you're shining. I sh <laughs> <laughs> he yeah. says I'm shining. You think I, I think I need a wife. You think you need a wife? Yeah, yeah man. I mean, we're reaching that age where we, yeah, yeah, I guess we, yeah, we're getting older. We need wives. So, okay, Harry, Harry, then. Right. Let's okay, I just want to do to to explain um these to our viewers mm -hmm. out there. Okay, so this is the, the robbery. This is a triangle. So, you see the offender. That offender, he needs cash. All right, he needs to get his attack method and he also needs to plan the robbery. Mm -hmm. So, don't think that the, the person is just coming to just rob the police. It needs to be planned. Mm -hmm. Okay? Routines. That offender will check the daily routines of the business place that he's robbing, the annual routines, the special events, on what days the most money is coming into that store, what days um, the, is that bar selling more alcohol, all right? What disruptions, whether there is a police officer coming there to, 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 to see he, he, um, he, um, his girlfriend, mm -hmm. okay? Whether a police officer is doing a cash escort, whether there's a police officer coming to secure the place from 2 until 8 um, 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 in the evening. Now. Seconds? That the victim mm -hmm. at that place, all right. The victim is vulnerable, right? The victim, the place, the place needs to be attractive, okay. For the robbery to take place, there's supposed to be a, a lack in awareness, yes, yes, all right. Like the security, security guards, right? Okay, it's supposed to be uncomplicated, and that place is supposed to be escapable, all right. The victim or, or the store, or where, mm -hmm. or wherever, all right. It, it, it has a um, a, a, what do you call it? A, um, a jargon value, mm -hmm. right? 
Okay, the location, location. Yeah, the guardianship, the, the resale opportunities for stolen items, whether I could enter the store, rob there, take a TV and sell it back. I the see. escape routes, how fast would I get out of, of that parking lot? Where can I pass? All right. Um, the traffic flow, how bad is the traffic on that, that day? Too. Oh, yeah, on, on that day. All these things um, they take into consideration, especially with the, 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 the big arm robberies. I see. Yeah. I see. Interesting. So, yeah. Interesting. Wow. Routines. Thank you so much, Mr. Yeah, yeah. You can take yeah. that down now? Yeah, we can. Okay, let's take that outside. Yeah. yeah, so, um, Inspector, we already mm -hmm. reached the point of where we, we got to wrap up. Yeah. Um, final words? Well, final words. <laughs> um, what I could, um, what I want to encourage business places to do um, is let's take security um, serious. Let's take the welfare of our employees um, I'm serious. As I said earlier, offer them counseling. You know, ensure that they get counseling after an, an incident of a of, of, of a robbery, right? And take the security of your establishment serious, both on the interior and on the exterior. If you do not have lights in the parking lot, if you do not have, have lights on on the outside, install those lights. Install CCTV um, mm -hmm. um, surveillance CCTV cam um, um, cameras. Sorry, all right. To the persons out there committing the robbery, I'm urging you to stop because very soon the police will intercept one of those robberies. And the business owners too. And yeah, and the, uh, uh, you all will enter into a store and that business owner will have a firearm and mm -hmm. it will be the end. Okay, I'm encouraging you all to stop. Find a, find a job, find something to do. Stop going after um, um, innocent persons, persons who are trying to make um, a, a, mm -hmm. a, a simple daily bread. You know, you go into a store, you're robbing a store for four hundred dollars. What can four hundred dollars um, 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 do for you? You're gonna and, and lose your life for four hundred dollars. It will end one day. One day, very soon, one of those robberies will be intercepted, and we will feel sorry for. We, and I said we will feel sorry for for those offenders. You only need to stop. It's not a game. Persons' lives are at risk. Thank you so much, yeah. Inspector, for being my guest. I know it will not be the last. Acting, Inspector. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Acting. Um, <laughs> we have come to the end of another um, informative show, very educational. And, and, and if I were to reiterate everything, first of all, you robbers out there, like the Inspector said, every dog has its day. Mm -hmm. You will enter the wrong establishment at the wrong time. And I know human rights and, every, and those on that side of, of, of the discussion have their job to do, but we will have our job to do, and the business owners will have their job to do. Okay, and maybe it will have to take that to send a strong message to you people who believe that you could just enter a store, someone's home, and take what they've worked for, worked so hard for. So heed the warning. Find something to do with your life. Seek God. Find a way to make money for yourselves and stop that. And second of all, business owners, take this thing serious. Take protecting your, your, your employees serious. And stop having security officers to sanitize people's hands. Mm -hmm. Security <laughs> officers need to be doing their jobs. Sanitizing people's hands, carrying garbage, pushing trolleys, helping people take meat out of the fridge. Running and buy groceries for Running and buy staff. groceries for staff. This needs to stop. I personally think I will start calling them out when I go to the particular yeah. establishment yeah. when I see it, you know? But this needs to stop. Anyway, this has been another episode of Police Inside. I'm happy that I'm back. I'm happy to see you, those of you in the Facebook chat. Thank you so much. Um, I encourage you to... Um, Follow us on um, Facebook, Police Insight. We've got a Police Insight page. Also, the Community Relations Branch. Community Relations Branch. We have a page also. And also, the Royal Station Police Force has a Facebook page. Um, follow us on social media. We will continue to bring this show to you. Thank you to um, NBC. Thank you to the owner, Mr. McDowell, for allowing us this opportunity to continue to have this show. Stay safe. Good night. God See you bless. next week. Bye-bye.
why are you suffering from aches, pains and illnesses? When there's help for you, at Health Service Centre, we offer a wide range of treatment that has been scientifically proven to help you with your aches, pains and illnesses. Our ICT machine is one of the most effective devices in the health field. It has shown positive results in many health problems, such as back pains, shoulder pains, migraine headaches, pain in the knees and legs, poor circulation, arthritis, diabetic neuropathy, numbness in the feet, strokes and sports injuries. ICT, repairs, rebuild. The power to heal, the future of pain relief. Aging gracefully is the hope for everyone. But when you age prematurely, most people think that something is wrong with you. The natural enzymes and building blocks in your skin start to deplete. So fine or deep lines and wrinkles appear, making you look much older than you really are. At Derma Clinic, we can help repair your skin and change the way you look in minutes. These treatments will make you look younger. At Derma Clinic, we treat all kinds of skin problems, such as facial lines, dark circles around the eyes, crow's feet, and frown lines, using all-natural hyaluronic acid filler. So maintain and improve your facial appearance. For more information, call 453-6417 or 485-9818. McDowell Supplements, an effective way to ensure you and your loved ones are getting the daily recommended intake of essential vitamins, minerals, and other important nutrients necessary for optimal health. Naturally, we carry an array of health and wellness supplements. McDowell's Immune Booster enhances your body's defense to fight colds and flu, boosts your immune system, prevents viruses and other airborne diseases. McDowell's Colon Cleanser prevents constipation, helps in removing toxins from the colon, detoxifies the body, and regulates your bowel movements. McDowell's Prostate Health prevent the enlargement of the prostate, improve urinary flow, and reduce frequent urination, especially at night. Moringa Oleifera capsules are rich in minerals like calcium, potassium, zinc, magnesium, iron, and copper, vitamins like beta-carotene of vitamin A, vitamin B such as folic acid, vitamin C, D, and E. McDowell's Potassium Complex, used for treating and preventing low potassium levels, high blood pressure, preventing stroke, and aid in weight loss. McDowell's Triple Magnesium relaxes the muscles, relieves cramps and helps to control high blood pressure, improves sleep, and can calm the nerves. Magnesium is very important for the normal functioning of cells, nerves, muscles, bones, and the heart. McDowell's Ginger Turmeric helps to relieve pain, decrease nausea and enhance the immune function to help protect against illness and infection. Ginger Turmeric has powerful